Straight men of Reddit. What is the strangest thing you have been told not to do because that's gay? I was engaged, and my co-workers knew I was engaged to a woman. I was at some sort of work thing, and started talking to a guy who was obviously gay. We started talking about philosophy, and I thought he was a cool guy. I was just like hey, if I ever read X book that we were talking about, I'd love to discuss it with you over coffee or something. But I might not read it anytime soon. I just graduated college, where getting coffee with someone didn't mean anything, and you just did it if you wanted to have a conversation with them. Apparently everyone thought I asked the dude out. I guess I see where they're coming from. But I just wanted to talk about Wittgenstein with someone who'd read him should I ever read him. Just wanted to say I'm sure that guy really appreciated it. It can be a pretty common thing for straight guys to avoid friendships with other guys who happen to be queer. I've had several co-workers friends start to avoid spending time with me when they find out I have a husband and while my skin is much thicker now than it used to be, it still stings a bit. I had a girlfriend that started laughing when I crossed my legs because that's hella gay. And it was like the full straight guy spread out T-leg cross. When I was in 8th grade, I got a solid beat down for wearing a plain purple t-shirt. Apparently only gay guys do that. Years later I found out I was gay for liking dicks. Turns out it had nothing to do with my shirt. Who rolled a thunk? I was taking prescription strength painkillers after surgery. My friend had come over to check on me. Her boyfriend, ex, thought it was gay to take painkillers and told me to be a man. Jokes on you buddy. I'm high as f right now. Having a hair. My cousins convinced me only gay people have a hair. And the more a hair the gayer they are. Guess I'm like the king of gays now all mayo. I've also seen here that shaving your ray is gay. Everything is gay. Eating bananas. Hot dogs. Popsicles. String cheese. Using a straw. Hugging other men. Touching feminine hygiene products. This is the one that kills me. Letting your 3 year daughter do your hair. Makeup and nails. The bit about feminine hygiene products is what gets me. How does buying them for your girlfriend make you gay? In what way would a gay man use feminine hygiene products? They're probably the least likely to have a reason to be buying them when you think about it. Real men are capable of buying their girlfriend period products without worrying about their own sexuality while doing so. Apparently going out for Mexican and margaritas with your pal. No one said it directly. But the waitress gave us a complimentary dessert for two and said happy anniversary. Free dessert is free dessert, I guess. My best friend and I, both girls, went to senior prom together. We weren't dating anyone at the time. So going as friends was a nice way to have a good time and still nab that couple's ticket discount. We went out for dinner before the dance, and this group of 20-somethings in the corner that we'd never met before kept smiling at us across the room and giving us the thumbs up. When we went to pay for the food, we'd found that it had already been paid for, and that was when I realized that we'd been mistaken for lesbians, and those smiley folks were probably just trying to be supportive. To be fair, I looked pretty butch, and in retrospect most straight girls probably wouldn't pair a prom dress with a leather jacket. Anyways, I consider that an absolute win. Some nice strangers got to feel supportive and we got a free meal out of it. Being mistaken for lesbians was economical as f. Wear pink or similar colors. Although it definitely is my color. Yep. Got made fun of a lot for wearing pink. Purple. Yellow. Teal. Etc. I look damn good in them though. Especially in summer where I get really tan. Eating at a sushi restaurant with another guy. Having close male friends gay. Having close female friends gay. Evidently one can't win. Having close friends is gay. Dup. 80s kid here. Anything involving showing emotion is gay. Wearing any clothing that isn't muted is gay. Stating that something is cute is gay. Getting excited about hobbies is gay. Calling your guy friends to talk is gay. Crying is gay. Airing grievances of everyday life is gay. Washing your butthole is gay. Using lotion other than jacking off is gay. Shaving anything other than your face and neck is gay. I grew up in the 80s too. My teenage son came along with me once to get together of some old high school friends of mine. I had a great time shooting the sh- playing cards. And having beers with those guys. Afterwards, my son remarked that it seemed like we didn't actually like each other all that much like there was an undertone of aggression to the whole night. I didn't notice it at all, but watching him and his friends interact, it became clear to me why he would think that. 
he and his friends seem to always be genuinely kind to each other and supportive of one another and don't make jokes at each other's expense. That's actually pretty cool. Kinda gay. But cool. At work I once complimented another man on his outfit. My male co-workers looked at me as if I had asked if he had naked photos of himself I could see. Man. If I got a compliment unprompted like that, from a male or female, it would make my whole fine month. This is why we gotta start normalizing men giving each other compliments. I still hold on to compliments from years ago. We have to normalize men giving compliments to other men. Like bro just literally give each other compliments. How in the world is that gay? Lol. Old boy was jealous he wasn't getting any compliments. Sometimes people are looking good. Nothing wrong with giving them a compliment to give them a pep in their step. Not exactly that's gay but a guy talked down to me once for using the word craving because cravings are something only women get. Man. I'm horny for some chocolate chip cookies and warm milk right now. Is that better? I got a stomach boner for some thin months. What the f? That doesn't even make sense. Was the guy otherwise alright? Imagine him trying to write an essay while avoiding female words. Debatable. I once got the same response for using the word hella in a sentence. I thought only girls say that. One time a girl thought I was gay because I was attentive during sex. I'm not even joking. That's the gay agenda you've heard so much about. We go around giving women the best sex of their lives in order to make straight men look bad. It's a long term project. If there is a gay agenda is there a gay reading of the minutes from the last meeting? Fellas. Is it gay to want to please your lady? Kinda sus. Loving your girlfriend wife and wanting her to feel good. What kind of gauche is this? Everyone knows only gay men want to please their wives. I had a similar experience. Also she was suspicious because I like to dance. Then she got really upset by the fact I didn't react negatively to a man hitting on me. Also the way I find toddlers amusing and fun rather than irritating. She was raised in a conservative catholic family with strict gender roles. One of the things she liked about me was that I didn't fit those expectations. But also it made her very uncomfortable. Can I have her number? Low expectations is my sweet spot. I think you have to be the traditional no feelings not good at communicating male for her. Or else she won't be convinced you are at least not be. I said I like it when it rains. Raining men. Hallelujah. I'm only happy when it rains. I'm only happy when it's complicated. Carry an umbrella. Holy sh someone else has had to put up with this bullsh. It's effing pouring effing rain and these dumb CSR over here like nah just man up and run where you're going while getting drenched. Real men get wet. They get wet when it's raining. They get wet on a fishing boat in a storm. They get wet in the shower after an all male threesome. I can get behind this. Drink any beverage out of a bottle. Rather than a cup. Maybe don't deep throat the bottle. Can I still stick it up my butt? Putting on sunscreen. No joke. Australia had to spend a huge amount of money on a media campaign to persuade people about the need to use sunscreen. It worked though. Somebody called me gay for doing that before too. I didn't realize as a hetero I was supposed to die of skin cancer. My boss refuses to wear sunscreen because it is for gays. I'm gay and I wear sunscreen because skin cancer is for straight men. Gay guy here. I enjoy playing piano and used to get told it's gay af back in middle school. Now when I see the amount of straight guys getting chicks because they can play an instrument. Ha. Huh. Drinking out of a straw makes sucking dick feel normal. That's how you turn gay. E. There is a massive ven of those that enjoy a penis in their mouth. And really dislike plastic straws. Good for you guys. That's a great way to identify people who have never had a good blowjob. Or have straw thin penises. I've been told wearing a mask. Or PPE in general. Is gay. Wearing a mask is the least gay thing ever. There's an extra layer of cloth between your mouth and all the other dudes dicks. Everyone else is one pants drop away from total dick to mouth exposure. Wearing green on Thursday. I have no clue why. That's oddly specific. I feel like even knowing this is gay is gay. Yeah, you Roy G. Biff. So Thursday is a green day. Is that how it works? The strangest one I've heard is two guys can't drive around in a convertible with the top down. Another one. Two guys can't sit next to each other in a movie theater if it's not crowded. Chilling in a hot tub less than 5 feet apart. Hell if the theater isn't crowded you can bet I'm not gonna sit next to anyone because there's no need to fight over an armrest. 
having a child with my wife is gay, taking care of my kid, and making being a good father and enjoying time with my child as the main goals of my life is somehow gay, changing diapers is apparently gay now, having heterosexual sex and dealing with the consequences is also gay, loving your kids and being a good dad is gay, it doesn't make any sense at all, existence is gay. Me and a friend of mine used to be like Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels from Dumb and Dumber, always getting in trouble, bunking class on my scooter, going out to eat, buy groceries, a long ride out of the city cause the air is so fresh where people don't live. My friend later told me he heard a rumor that we both were always together so we were gay. We laughed it off and went to have our hot pockets. Bromance is not gay, unless you were being sarcastic. A friend told me I'm holding my fork in a gay kind. Better than holding it like a Neanderthal like me I guess. Can't come mate, I'm spending the weekend camping with my girlfriend. PFFFT, what are you? Gay? You're missing a party dude. I'm pretty sure both of us lost brain cells in the moment of silence after he said that. Guys, is it gay to have a girlfriend? I mean, you're literally dating someone who likes dick. Playing the saxophone. Honestly what in the world? I grew up in the 80s 90s saxophone sex. My Pavlovian response to hearing saxophone is to expect sex, whilst putting a tube-like object in your mouth. My girlfriend once seriously asked me if I was gay because I said that I liked her body. Safe to say she had some issues. A girl I was dating once started crying and asked if I was gay because I was attentive to her and remembered specific things she had told me about herself. Apparently caring about her and trying to be a good partner gay. Yeah, she also had some severe self-esteem issues to work out. To this day my ex still thinks the reason I paid attention and listened to her was because I'm B. She said no straight men would listen. Broke a guy's jaw in high school. Sent him a get well card while he was in the hospital. He called me gay for sending the card. On accident or on purpose. Cause sending someone a get well card after intentionally breaking their jaw is a power move lol. Get well soon so I can break it again. It was intentional. He was pushing around a friend of mine. The card had a bunny on it. I was told that I was gay because I enjoyed anal sex with a woman. They said that if I f a girl in the A, then I'd f a guy in the A. Well, buddy, you like blow jobs, do ya? Well, if you let a woman suck your dick, you'd also let a man suck your dick. Oh, you kiss your girlfriend too, right? Need I say more? Similar event. Told I was gay by a girl because I enjoyed sex with her laying down. Face down. Was also told by a gay man that drinking from a straw was gay. He then threw my straw across the bar. That one has stuck to this day. I was at a party with my GF and my siblings. Minding my own business while drinking sparkling water. My bill. Dude. Are you drinking sparkling water? That's so gay. Me. Points at my GF. Bill. Me. Look I'm sorry. But you're not my type. And with my sister. Several months prior I was at a gay bar ordering a sparkling water. The bartender. Smug af. Really? Sparkling water? You must be straight. What is it with me drinking sparkling water and my perceived sexuality? I guess that means that sparkling water is a bisexual drink. That would explain why it gets no respect in either the gay or straight world. Play as a female video game character. My friend f -ed my other gay friend in the butt and said to me I'm straight but one time I f -ed. Gay friend. And he was getting so into it. It was funny as. I'm trying to imagine all the steps between just hanging out with a mate and then sticking your erect dick into your friend's butt and wondering how throughout all that he still thought it was all just a laugh. Ah yes I also frequently have sex with people purely for the comedic value. Two of my friends from high school died in a car accident a week before the graduation. Everyone from the classroom went to the funeral and some lf my classmates were crying a lot. I decided to hug one of them and comfort him. One of my closest friends, and this guy, a fat one, part of the popular cool group which are always doing stupid stuff to get attention came into me, touched my back and yelled dude I didn't know you liked dick hahaha, <laughs> he was kicked from the funeral and lost probably 90% of his friends, holy sh, what a see. So I was about to go on a date with a girl and my, didn't know he was, Gay friend said that I shouldn't because it's gay. You should know that going out with girls is gay because girls like dick and that's kinda gay. Girls are feminine. Guys are masculine. 
So effing a girl is gay, and effing a dude is manly as f. Roller skating was gay all of the sudden. If you had a piercing in the right ear you were gay. Anything dance related. Having a piercing in your right ear was widely known as being gay when I was growing up in the 2000s. Never really understood it. Well there is a rich tradition of signifiers that gay people would use to identify each other. Before it was more socially acceptable and before you could just find someone to hook up with on a dating app. So it's not a crazy idea. Although I don't exactly know how much truth there is to the right earring thing. I'll admit that I was the perpetrator in this case. When I was very young, like 8 or 9, I was convinced eating strawberries was kinda gay. Same here. When I was around 10, some friends of mine told made fun of me for liking strawberry pop tarts. Only girls and gays like strawberry flavored anything. They said, I'm straight, but if liking artificially flavored strawberry things is gay, then I'ma start sucking that dick. I have this casual button down shirt that's pinkish coral, salmon, more of a salmon which is what I said in the story, anyway, I really like the shirt based on its fit and its material, and I never have anyone say anything bad about it, I've had like to compliments on it over the 8 years I've had it, but one day some guy started making fun of me for wearing a pink shirt, and I thought he was joking so I started joking and went actually it's a lovely salmon, possibly with a lemon or honey glaze. And he then called me a homosexual for knowing about salmon as a color and describing cooking in such a way. I don't even know how to cook lol. I ordered that at a restaurant once and loved it. And he then called me a homosexual for knowing about salmon as a color and describing cooking in such a way. I was at a party once where there was this bodybuilder guy in attendance. He kept loudly joking about how stuff was gay. This is gay. That's totally gay haha. <laughs> By the end of the party. Everyone had come to the conclusion that he was a closeted homosexual. No well-adjusted straight guy is that obsessed with calling stuff gay. He thinks describing cooking is gay. I'd like to see him say that to Gordon Ramsay. You fine donkey. I hugged my best friend. We don't do that handshake hug over one shoulder and pat on the back bullsh. We fine embrace. Some people think that's gay but we don't care. We enjoy each other. The other day we went white water rafting and at one point we laid on our backs and floated down a calm part of the river while holding hands. I can't argue with that one. It's a little gay. Still don't care. Had a good day. I grew up in the Middle East and it was normal for men to walk down the street holding hands. I still remember my dad and uncle holding hands and swinging their arms on the way to the mosque. This is a very wholesome image that made me smile. Not just the hand holding but hectometers. This is good but could be better swing swing perfect. Hand holding between male friends is super common in a lot of cultures across the world. It's basically just in the west where it's considered a purely romantic gesture. Holding hands. My granddad once told me not to brush my hair because looking pretty is for women and the gays. F you. Buddy, I want to look nice and not like I'm chasing hedgehogs through a refine bush. You and wash even. Not that I've been told not to do it, but I know a guy who refuses to eat PSY because he says it's gay. Came here to say this. Basically caring about your partner's sexual pleasure at all instead of just mashing PSY is gay. I've heard that, but that's where a dick goes so it's like kissing a dick. Shut tf up with tat. So many problems and insecurities there. I don't like girls cause girls like dick and that's gay. Then don't kiss girls that's w he re be always leapies go to so it like kissing a goi. If an alcoholic drink doesn't taste really bitter or doesn't burn your throat. Apparently it's penis in a glass. Pina colada. More like penis a lotta. Washing my a hole. Friend of mine once said everyone knows that's gay. You can miss me with that. Apparently you are only allowed to wash your cheeks and let suds run down your crack. Any direct contact with your own air hole and you will catch the gay. If clean is gay, I'd rather be gay. I too would change my sexuality to get a bidet license. I was f I'm shocked when my sister told me she had to tell her BF to wash his hole a. The man had four kids too. This is very much a thing. I've read articles about men who don't even wipe after shitting because they think it's gay. Women be about the bed sheets and underwear they have to deal with because their men don't wipe their a. That's utterly disgusting. 